welcome to day 20. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I just felt like today was the day I jump into the camera. Good morning. Welcome to day 20 <laughs> of 28 days <laughs> of seeing Jesus clearly. Today we are, uh, I'm sorry, I, you know, we've done 19 of these, right? Like, anyway, day 20. Here we go. Matthew chapter 20, verse 32. Jesus was walking along, and uh, he's the miracle worker now, right? Like, Jesus is the miracle worker. They knew he was the miracle worker. He's doing amazing things. People are getting healed, multiplying food, walking on water, getting transfigured, doing all kinds of amazing stuff, right? He's walking along, and there's a, a blind man crying out. And... Uh, Jesus walks up to him and he, and he asked a, a, a poignant question. He asked him in uh, verse 32. Jesus stopped and called him and said, What do you want me to do for you? Now, for us, that sounds like a really, really simple question that Jesus asked. He's a blind man, of course. Why, why is Jesus asking what he wants him to do for him? Can't he see? But you and I both know that we have prayer needs that may seem obvious from the outside. Not always as obvious for us, but I want you to see this from maybe a little different perspective. As we look in retrospect at Jesus showing up to the blind man, we knew Jesus was gonna heal him. The first time you read that story, and it said that Jesus walked up to the blind man and said, what is he want? You and I both knew that if Jesus walked up to that blind man, he's going to be healed, right? Friend, sometimes you and I are the blind man. And to everybody on the outside, it's pretty obvious Jesus is going to jump into the scene and heal our infirmity. We need to recognize our need and talk to Jesus about it. What is it that you're asking Jesus for today? Because Jesus is anointed to heal it. Jesus is anointed to meet our need. So this morning, wow. Wow, this, wow. This morning, I just declare over you the confidence to ask Jesus to meet your need. That we wouldn't doubt he's going to do it, but we would boldly come before him and say, Jesus, here's my need, and I'm trusting you to meet it. Amen? God bless you. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.